Hey guys, so I actually only just realised that a lot of my prints are actually portrait, so I'm going to try and do a landscape one. I know it's a very simple change, but you can be surprised of how much changing just the portrait to a landscape, or landscape to portrait, or even going down to a square, um, can change the not only composition, but also the way you place things, which is... The composition so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'm gonna be reusing some of these because I really like the effect from last time even though I didn't think it would have worked with this one. This is what the last one is. Oh if I can get it to go. Like I like the fact that it wasn't pure white. It had all these lovely textures and marks. And um, I don't think I will use the water bottle this time just because I realised and figured out that these lines are actually the water bottle marks. Might do but might intentionally not I don't know. I'll I'll see what happens. First off, I'm going to place these bits. So remember, whatever you place down will be the, I'm going to call it grey area or the white area. It's going to be grey area if you've already used the paper. And also back to front. postman is due so you might hear my dog barking and I can only apologise for that. <laughs> I've got a little Jack Russell and she just barks at anything, it's just quite funny actually. I'm literally just placing these bits of paper down, not really thinking too much about what's going to turn up from that. I know I probably should, but this is only an experiment. Well, all my artworks are experiments, and they only turn from experiments into artworks if I like the outcome really, and I choose to, say, put it in a gallery, or just generally just choose to display it. Kind of like when Banksy says, um, this isn't my artwork, like, it's the action, not just the fact that it was his artwork, because it no longer is. Once again, I'm using the same, um, printing ink. It's just it just says block lino printing ink um I don't, I'm not gonna try and pronounce what that says because I just I don't know It's looking a lot rather landscapey, so I'm just gonna some bits in. So 
actually quite hard because normally I just kind of place them around but I, I end up making an actual image from um, just going with landscape I think the best thing to do is just to go for it. I know it's going to kind of look landscapey, but I'm trying to focus on the fact that what the black's going to look like, and I I can't imagine it right now. So um, this will be quite an interesting perspective. So I've actually done it so that there's going to be white strips at either end, so slightly too short, but the right size for. the middle part if that makes any sense at all I don't know if I'm sometimes I don't even know if I'm talking proper English is it gibberish or what okay feet time like a snack whilst you're making work but like even if it's from like fruit to chocolate <laughs> um, maybe grapes or chocolate bars or crisps or what I'd like to know just because I my favourite thing to snack on is like dark chocolate <laughs> don't know why I just always have that or peppers I don't know why I think it's just the crunch that I like I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see like the silhouette of it underneath the paper. Also this paper is um, an upsell paper. It's a rescued bit of paper from <laughs> rescued and I'm, I'm saying it like it's a dog. It's rescued from a bin because, well you saw the other side, it was literally just plain white. But I don't know why people like to chuck useful bits of paper away. So actually I might go over with... My water bottle if I can find it. Oh there it is. Just to add in a bit of texture. So I'm sinking around but it's going back here. And maybe down here. Cool. Here we go. First off, I think I needed to put a bit more, actually I don't know, I was going to say I probably wanted to put a bit more um, printing ink, ink down, but I'm not sure. Because you have got like dark contrast down here, but then I think it's just because there's so much white, there just needs to be a lot more dark. But for me that's not a bad first try at a landscape one. Be. I think it would definitely be a landscape one. Sometimes when you create portraits or landscapes, or either or, um, they might actually look better as put as like say you make a landscape one, and it actually looks better portrait, um, and vice versa. But I'm not sure. Yeah, actually no, this is definitely a landscape kind of. Well. <laughs> Kind of artwork uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope this is, this is a nice little insight into my printmaking and how i like to experiment even if it's the slightest part of you know landscape portrait or portrait portrait landscape or landscape portrait here we go and <laughs> um, give this video a like if you liked it if you would like to see more videos like this please let me know down below and i shall see you guys for my next video which will be going portrait <laughs> bye guys